Hardcore Adventure is a roguelike deck building card puzzle strategy game. The developer was kind enough to reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to take a look at it, and I've actually had my eye on this one for a while. Let's jump into the mechanics, but real quick, look at the art style of this game. I love it. These are all like random little patrons. Uh, maybe they're people that we can use later. Anyway, let's jump into the game and explain what is going on here. We're playing with the Scoundrel. We've got hidden blades and things like that. We do a bunch of damage. Let's go jump into the game, play. We'll explain what's going on here. Also, I see you down there. See you down there. The Drinking Ox. This tavern has no house rule. Defeat the tavern boss to complete quests to earn extra rewards. Let's go ahead. So, the way the game plays out, we are dealt nine total cards, and we must path our way through these cards. At the end of selecting our cards, they will be discarded and we will move on to the next shuffle. After three shuffles, the whole tavern is completed after we have completed the boss and all those things. There are a various amount of quests we need to do, like here we have to kill the boss of the tavern and we'll be rewarded one gold. And we have another quest to select all of the cards in one turn. Over here, you can see there are items and equipment that we have in our inventory. We have a hidden blade deals bleed damage to the first enemy of attack each turn. So essentially how this works, we select a card. You can see the enemy's health in the top right of their card at the bottom enemy actions. We have to like pass through this and figure out an efficient path to do as much damage as we can and complete the various quests we have available to us. For instance, let's go ahead and unselect these. This is one of the tavern's treasures. We select the direction up to open, lock one out of three, to lock one out of three. Something like that. Aha! There we go. And we have to select this last. So for instance, if you select this, this will deal one damage and bleed to the next enemy we attack. We deal already one bleed damage with our hidden blade. Deal bleed damage to the first enemy we attack each turn. So if we were to do this and do that, we deal a total of Three damage this enemy, I believe. For each enemy with a bleed, gain one strength. The strength is effectively our armor. So I think we're going to do something like this. We'll, we'll take this damage, deal one bleed to the next enemy. For each enemy with a bleed, gain one strength. We'll do something like this, something like this, something like this. We want to get this, this though. And the only way we can do that is by going up through here. I believe we're just going to do this for our first turn. I think this is okay. These will now go to the discard pile. The enemy is doing its thing. Two new cards get added. We need to go up through this one one more time to unlock this. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go like this and like this. Just get this unlocked. No. Uh oh, select from direction down. We, we can't. <laughs> All right. Well, we just have to ignore this card for now because we can't open it from this direction. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, this will deal one damage. Go ahead and try to deal damage to some of these enemies so we can get the tavern boss summoned up. All right, do something like this. Deal bleed damage to already selected enemy. Go over here. For each enemy with a bleed, gain one strength. Maybe go through one of these guys again. Go through something like that. Something like this. Yeah, let's go Maybe back off these guys. And I think this is okay. All right, go ahead, click and hold to end the turn move along here that adds an enemy to the deck let's see what we got here at the end of each round essentially before the next shuffle we get a selection a selection of three things that'll happen it'll be anything from refreshing our character's might to refreshing our character's health to collecting a bonfire card so this one would block all enemies this one remove the might cost of all cards this turn we're gonna go ahead and replenish our character's might for now or strength for now I do have a couple bits of feedback for the developers. I know that this game seems to be very much optimized for mobile, and I think that it works very well with those. However, that being said, it would be really nice to be able to hover over a lot of these icons to see exactly what they mean. I know we can go ahead and we can hold down and select the monsters and find out what like this does. For instance, freeze is a card with frozen, cannot be discarded after being selected if the freeze wears off. For playing on desktop, it would be much easier to just have that as a little pop-up when you hover over the icons. And also another thing that would be really nice to see is if you could, instead of clicking and holding to find out the information of the card, 
you can click and hold to like select and drag a line to kind of like figure out the path thing that'd be really neat and then have it like you right click the card or something like that i understand that would not work on mobile and will only work on desktop but it'd be really really nice we can't do anything with this lockbox it's just stuck here because we can't can't move down <laughs> we can go ahead and try to you know get it in a different place we can gain five might here but we're gonna go ahead and take this first so we can deal damage to opponents so we can start getting this boss summoned we'll go ahead and heal as well and we do something like this something like that take this thing out gain the might heal some damage to this just so we have we can clear out some of these cards and maybe do the same thing here. We'll just be a big question mark. All right, so all of these cards selected. I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle those. Keep these two on. Right, we got a lot of damage here. So this is a shopkeeper. If we select the shopkeeper in our path, we will add one card to the deck. I think we are definitely going to make that happen. Do this, this, this. All right, for each enemy with a... Sometimes selecting cards a little bit finicky, and this is again why I would like to see some sort of click and drag. That would be really neat, at least. This card deals one damage. We'll do this as well. We'll go ahead and add this to the deck. Something like this, something like that. That should take out all of these guys. Just leave these two in the corner. I think that's fine. All right, go ahead, move onwards. Go to the next shuffle. All right, what do we want to add to the deck here? Deal one damage and bleed. Reduce the next card by... Card Might by 3, Card Strength by 3, deal 3 damage to the next enemy. I mean, the deal 3 damage to the next enemy. It seems really good. Go ahead, take that. I like it. I like it a lot. I, I, I really like the art style in the game. I like the fact that this it seems like a game you can very easily play in a tavern. Very clearly, that's what they're going for. It's pretty neat. I like it. Anyway, replenish our character's life, gain a gold, or add a bond. Let's just gain gold right off the bat. All right. See what we got here. We have summoned the tavern boss. The tavern boss is right here. He's got eight health. We need to go ahead and defeat him. We have a bunch of quests that we have to do here. Defeat the boss is one of them. Reward one gold and selecting all cards in one turn. We've not done that yet. I just realized we haven't done that yet. We can go ahead and do that. Let me do that this turn. Something like this. Take this, take this, take this. Yeah, that only deals one damage to the boss. You can deal bleed damage to already selected enemies like that. I'll deal damage to us. Not a fan of it. I think we'll go something like this, something like this, and something like this for now. We go ahead and also gain the might. We do something like this, 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 this. Can you go across the boss, please? Thank you. All right. Do something like this. I think this is okay. Deal you know, like a little bit of damage to this guy. Total of six. Oh, total of six health remaining. Deal three damage to the next enemy. Yes, please. All right. Well, we have to go last. So I think we can do something like this. Do four damage to the boss in total. Heal a little bit. Go to this guy. And then we can't select down. Unfortunate. However, go like this. 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 We can open this lock and get to this treasure. And I think I'm fine with doing this chain of events. Because I really want to open this the tavern treasure. We'll worry about taking out the boss next turn. Hopefully we can do so. We did clear most of the board. So we will have an option of even more cards after this. The next attack deals double of these symbols. Lock all enemies or gain five strength. I think we'll try this. All right, we'll try this. The next attack deals double of all these symbols. Once again, I would really like to be able to like hover over these to see at a very quick glance exactly what they do. I mean, this is obviously fire, frost, and electricity, and that's damage. But I don't know exactly what those do. Let's go ahead. All right, select that one anyway. So the last one, we need to open this from this way. So we need to kill the boss, or hopefully be able to kill the boss this turn. All right, go ahead and take this. You know what? Here, we're going to do it this way. Take this, take this, take this, take this, do that, attack the boss, do this. Is that what we want to do? Or is there a better way to do this? Because this will deal one damage to the next enemy. We can. There is a better way to do this. Let's go ahead and undo that. I'm going to start from the bottom here. We're starting from the bottom, now we're here. Now we got the top, do something like that. I think that's okay. Go ahead, do that. 
unable to beat the tavern boss before the next shuffle ended, I believe. Alright, deal three damage. Ooh, big treasures. Gold border on the outline as well. Deal three damage, discard, gain two gold. Gain a gold for each of these actions taken. Or gain three gold adjacent cards. Increase strength by two. I like just to deal three damage, gain two gold. Let's let's take that. <laughs> let's take that. Alrighty, alrighty. So apologies if I am not explaining all this entirely correctly. Some of the elements of the game, even though I've played it for a little while now, are a little confusing, and I'm still I'm still figuring it out. All right. Well, we want to take this boss out. I believe this is the final shuffle. Shows three out of three. Seems like this might be the final shuffle. Go ahead and deal three damage to the next enemy. We can take out the boss here. So we could do something like this, because let's deal one damage to the next enemy. Next attack deals double damage. Take this guy out. We have so much damage on this specific board. Can we take everything out this turn? We could try it. So I'm actually going to sit here. We're going to think about this one. Can we deal enough to do... To basically defeat this entire board. That's essentially what we're going to do. We can do something like this. Something like this. Something like this. Something like this. Something like that. That we can cross over here into this thing. Do something like this, something like this. This will kill the entire board. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's good. Quest completed. Select all cards in one turn. And we defeated boss in the same turn. Pretty, pretty good. Alrighty. Gain two gold off of that as well. So now we need to exit the tavern. In order to exit the tavern, we're supposed to pay the tavern keep. I've not found a reason that we actually need to pay the tavern keep. We're gonna do it just because it seems like the nice thing to do. But we don't actually need to do it. Like, this, this is all we need to do. We just need to go and exit, exit the tavern like this. We could kill a bunch of enemies if we wanted to. I think that's mostly just to finish completing up some of the quests. But we've done just about every quest that we have available to us in this. So we're just gonna do this. We will pay the tavern keep gold cost. I think that's okay. Took a little bit of damage there. I don't like it. Tavern Keep apparently angry at us, even though we just paid him. But we defeated the Tavern Boss and completed the Tavern Quest rewards and collected the Tavern Treasure. So we essentially did everything we needed to do with the Drinking Ox. Go ahead and continue. Choose a Tavern Reward. We get to add a new equipment item, a Tavern Charm, or improve one of our character's cards. Let's go with Tavern Charm since we don't have that. Charm of Favor, 50% chance to add one attack, utility, or armor after each shovel. I believe, I'm assuming that's armor. Charm of Duplication, 50% chance to duplicate and permanently add a card drafted from the deck merchant. Or Charm of Vitality, 50% chance to gain one life and one strength at the start of each turn. I actually, I like the idea of that a lot. Charm of Duplication, really good too, but this is just like consistent recovery. And that's really nice. Gotta move the hidden blade like that. Alright. Go. Oh, can we just move this around at any point in time? Apparently not. Merchant rewards. Player gold. Four. You have a choice of add a new tavern charm. Remove a card from your deck and add three random character cards. Or improve one of your character cards. I will... Let's go ahead and add a new tavern charm. Alright, so we got charm of winter. Did we not put the... Oh, no. <laughs> we didn't put the charm in our deck because we didn't pick it up like this. Okay, okay. Maybe that should have been something. I I thought when we were selecting this, it would automatically place it in our inventory. My my bad. All right. Well, fifty percent chance to remove strength of a card at the start of a turn. Charm of Bane. Deal. I guess this is confusion or days unsure. No way of knowing. Or Charm of Winter. When you deal when you deal frost damage, fifty percent chance to freeze the attacking card. I'm very sad that we didn't we didn't add the last charm to our deck. All right, well let's go ahead and take the charm of strength. Ooh, yeah, that should probably just automatically get placed in our inventory, in my opinion. I mean, I guess you have the option to skip it, but yeah, that's a little weird. Apologies for that. Anyway, discover two new caverns, and after that we can decide which one we want to visit. So we have the option of frozen rest. Gnarl Root, Candle Cavern, Tinkerer's Den, Thief's Hideout, or the Nightingale's Rest. We're going off of things that I personally really like the idea of. I like the idea of the Nightingale's Rest, and I like the idea of the Thief's Hideout. I think that's where we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed what you've seen, there will be a link in the description. I believe the game releases in March of 2023, but yeah, you can go ahead and check out the game, wishlist it if it is something that looks pretty interesting to you, or you can, again, check out the demo. 
I will probably be revisiting this as the game receives updates and it becomes closer to launch. It's a very, very interesting game. I really like the idea of the card puzzle pathing that they have going on here. It's a nice, like, chill, relaxed game, and I can see it's very much optimized and probably designed initially for mobile. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, my name is Benzino Guard. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, night, whatever it is for you. Okay, bye.